Hey everyone and welcome back to another episode of Art New Vogue with your host Leilani Joy. This is my video art blog where I document my creative process and give you guys some tips and tricks along the way. But for some reason I think you guys already knew that probably. But anyway, I'd like to apologize for the long hiatus between creating new artwork and getting a video for you guys. Uh, things have been really busy for me. I've had some shows and some freelance stuff which unfortunately takes precedence over the videos since those actually pay my bills and um, feed my guinea pig. But anyway, I am going to be creating some new art for you guys today. And before I do that, I just want to make a really quick geeky um, announcement, which some of you guys already know about this. But um, I recently learned how to like, use Twitter, like actually use it. Like before I just, I would like put stuff in. I was like, I don't really know how to interact with anybody or like what the at symbols are for and the tags and all that. But after practicing with it, I finally figured out how it works. And I thought, oh, well, it might be fun. I follow Mary Elizabeth Winstead on there because I'm a big fan of her, obviously. So I thought I would just like tweet to her um, my picture of my Ramona costume with the um, with the Ramona painting that I did and she actually saw it and retweeted it which was like really exciting for me Ramona. so anyway I just thought that was really cool and exciting and so then I was like well since she liked the picture maybe I'll just tweet her the video and see if she would ever check out my cosplay video and she saw that and retweeted it too and said uh, awesome spot on or something like that. So um, thank you Mary if you ever see my videos I'm a huge fan and I'm kind of geeking out right now because you're just really cool and Anyone that ever says that I look like you is a huge compliment to me because you're gorgeous and I'm flattered to even be compared to you. So anyway, that's my little geek out moment and um, Yeah, be excited for me and jealous. Go ahead. All right, so without further ado, let's create some art today. So I was um, recently at um, Aaron Brothers, and I don't usually shop there. I usually like to go to Utrecht or like somewhere a little bit more affordable for my art supplies. But anyway, they had a huge sale on canvases that were buy one, get one for one cent. And I saw these really long, kind of um, narrow canvases, and I just thought they were really cool shaped. And um, I thought I would get two of them and do sort of um, sister pieces out of these. And I haven't painted on canvas in a long time. Actually, I haven't painted on canvas since, since um, I was in art college. And um, I decided it would just be kind of fun to try again and do something a little bit more painterly and a little bit more maybe realistic. So a little bit different than what I usually do, but I just wanted to kind of have fun with it and see what came of it. And I'm also painting a lot larger than I usually do. And that's partially why this video took so long because I had a lot of footage hours and hours and I actually filled up my hard drive and I had to clean the hard drive and that was like a whole nother thing but I'm done now so now you guys can watch the process so um, when I was thinking of doing a pair of paintings I really wanted to have sort of a cohesive theme for the two of them and I was painting outside because I'm lucky enough in California to have this beautiful weather and I was just like, I'm going to take these canvases outside and get inspired by nature and all this. So I decided that flora and fauna would be really cool to like put into my own style and like do my own characters of those goddesses, the Roman idea of um, the goddess of flowers, flora, and the goddess of the hunt or animals and fertility. Um, which is fauna. So that's what I'm going to do today. And before I start, um, I'm just going to show you some of the inspiration that I that I dug up for this. And I've been keeping this magazine. It's a W magazine featuring um, Natalie Portman. And there was this photo of her that I'll show you guys that I've been obsessed with for years. I've had this magazine for like six years, and I just I can't get rid of it because I love it. And I decided that I kind of wanted to use that as the inspiration for my flora piece, and um, kind of work that in somehow. All right, so I've chatted on long enough, and recently someone on YouTube said that I remind them of Flo from the Progressive commercials. And my response to that is, but you know, now that I think about it, I am kind of like her. So I'll stop talking and let's get painting. So as I said, my main inspiration for Flora was this um, photo spread of Natalie Portman from the W Magazine. And I really am inspired by this sort of flowery headdress, and I found these other images. So I'm going to be using that um, as my inspiration for Flora. And for Fauna, I'm feeling very inspired by the colors of a sunset, and I want to have sort of this a little hint of a Native American look about it and I started thinking about oranges and yellows and then I started thinking about foxes and how they're hunters and that would sort of be a perfect um, addition to this and then I happened to, upon this image of Megan Fox holding a fox which was sort of a perfect um, idea for this piece 
And lastly, I want to incorporate sort of these ink blots and Rorschach tests that I've been really obsessed with lately and I've been making my own sort of to stir up inspiration. So that's what I'm working with and um, let's get started on the painting. So I decided that I wanted these pieces to really complement each other and I've put up both canvases here as you can see and I'm going to actually paint the entire spectrum so that they almost blend into each other in the center. So I have red going into red violet, into a blue violet and then into blue and yellow into orange into yellow green and then a green finally blue green in the bottom corner here. Then I'm going to add some texture and splotches here. You know, it's never really art until you have paint on your hands. Oh, sorry, you're back. <laughs> kind of obsessed with words with friends right now. I really like it. Oh, and don't forget, you can get Leilani Joy iPhone cases at society6.com slash Leilani Joy. All right, enough of that. While I put my finishing touches on flora and fauna, I just want to make a few quick announcements while I still have your attention. I am happy to announce that I will again be at the Pink Parlor Festival, sponsored by Kat Von D and Pinky Star, on March 25th. So if you're in the SoCal LA area, I hope you guys can come out and see me this year. Um, for more details on that show, check it out right here at pinkparlorfestival.com. And they'll have all the dates and all the performers and all the other vendors, so check that out. It'll be really cool. And if you're in the Sacramento area, I have a fun announcement for you guys, too. On March 4th, I will be at the SACCON Comic Convention, and I'm going to be making a special appearance and not coming as myself. But I will be there as Ramona. So if you want to come check out my cosplay in person, check out my booth and talk about Scott Pilgrim and stuff, um, please come see me at the SACCON on March 4th. There's more information at the address below, so check out that website for all the details on that. And uh, without further ado, let's check out how these paintings came out.
before I get out of here, I just want to show you guys flora and fauna up close and personal. Um, here is the finished piece of flora, and here's a little detailed shot for you guys. And just to let you know, if you're interested in purchasing one or both of these pieces, um, please send me an email to Leilani at LeilaniJoy.com. And I'm also happy to work with you on a payment plan. I have a couple other collectors who are paying me monthly, and then they're going to get their original artwork on the last payment. So I'm happy to do that too, just to let you guys know. And here's an up close view of Fauna. I really love this piece. I really don't buy it because I want to keep it in my house. All right. Anyways, if you're not quite in the market for an original painting right now, um, I will have prints and all the other goodies in my Etsy shop right there. So please come check them out there. And I hope you guys like the new pieces. And I hope this video was worth the wait. And I'll see all of you, if not at one of my shows, then on the interwebs and in YouTube land. So that's it for me. And I hopefully will have more art for you guys really, really soon. And thanks for watching. Bye. Thank you.